Okay guys, another kind of in-between video. Um, this one's kind of a crazy idea. I posted on Instagram, but this is what I'm thinking of doing as another little side project. Um, sorry about the production quality. I'm just literally filming this with my phone. I've been super busy with the game stuff and I'm moving my shop and building an office. So pretty busy, but anyway, here's my next crazy idea. This is kind of what I'm gonna start working on next. I basically got this little um, pneumatic chuck off of, e off of eBay for really cheap, and I guess these are pretty expensive and nice, um, but it got me thinking, like maybe I could use it um, as a subspindle. Um, we're stuck at the whole process started. So the, what I'm gonna think, what I think I'm gonna do is, well, actually first step, first step is I bought some other pneumatic stuff um, because I'm gonna automate the 5C collet closer on this lathe. So with uh, G-code, I'll be able to open and close the 5C collet, which is right here. The collet closer is right there. Um, so again, with G-code, I'll be able to open and close that. Um, CNC, or actually G-made CNC and leeway on the forum, on the forums, Tormach forums on um, CNC zone. Thanks for all the input. They pretty much figured out all of the collet closer automation. So I'm basically just going to follow kind of their methods with that, and that should be pretty straightforward. Um, what I'm going to do is going to be a little crazy. I don't quite know if it's going to work. So here's kind of the, the run through. So again, imagine this chuck is not here. It's going to be replaced with um, the 5C cl collet closer. Uh, I'm also going to set up, I'm going to try to machine. I don't know, you know, we'll see. I'm going to machine or purchase some kind of smaller spindle. And I'm basically going to mount it right, -ish, right here. Well, it'll be, it'll be lower. It'll be center, center lined here. Which, you know, I've kind of played around and tested and it lines up. I can get it to line up with the spindle. So there'll be a, there'll be a, some sort of a smaller sub spindle here with some kind of a pulley and, and a motor. And that's basically going to be mounted to um, the gang plate right here. So what that's going to allow me to do is when I'm running apart, I can move the, the spindle will move up, move into place grab the part that's already been machined close it'll open this it'll, it'll open the collet closer slide the part out move down and then the tricky part which i haven't figured out what i'm going to do here is i need to add some sort of simple small gang tooling here so i might make some sort of a collar that mounts to this with just a couple of tools on it or i might you know mount it more securely somehow here you know it's going to be trouble getting it all squared up and everything but, um, you know, I think that's going to be kind of a cool project. But basically, I'm getting it all done. That's just like a test piece there, but I've got all the solenoids and everything ready for that. So first step is to kind of figure out what I'm going to do for a spindle, whether I'm going to try to machine that on my own, just kind of for fun project. I'm sure the accuracy won't really be there, but um, I might do that. I also might just see if there's any kind of like, little spindles from like one of these little teeny lays here I might actually use also um you know that might work too but um you know I don't know if that's going to be too complicated I'm pretty sure as long as I get something small enough that's going to stay in line that can shim up the perfect height I think that's going to work pretty good so it's just a matter of how I'm going to hook some of the gang tooling up um and maybe only going to be able to get a couple tools but again it seems like all the travels uh, will work out and you know we'll see if it's something that's actually going to be able to work out or not and um, you know, I'll document the process, but I'm not really sure how far I'll get on this one This is gonna be kind of a really side side project kind of longer term thing, but anyway, let me know if you think I'm crazy or um, Or not, but I think it'll be pretty cool to be able to machine both sides of the part without touching it um, And just have it be completely automated. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later